Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. Today, I'm talking about bags. <laughs> so, if you remember my 2018 New Year's resolution video, I mentioned that I wanted to try some new things. Um, if you saw my quilt that I made a couple weeks ago, that was definitely part of the new things. And so is sewing bags. Um, believe it or not, this is only the second bag I ever made. Um, the first one, um, I don't even have anymore. <laughs> I don't even own it anymore. Um, it was a labor of love. And so I was a little bit hesitant to take on this project, but was reassured whenever I found ByAnnie.com. So if you don't know about By Annie. Um, that is an online retailer. They also have products um, in your local quilt shops that sells bag patterns. And it's everything from larger tote bags like this one to smaller cosmetics bags and everything in between. So this is the Take a Stand Tote. I am going to let Annie from ByAnnie.com tell us herself about the Take a Stand Tote. The Take a Stand pattern includes instructions for stand-up totes in two sizes. You'll love these versatile totes for many uses, as a day-to-day -day purse, as a diaper bag, to carry sewing supplies, or even a small iron. The small stand-up tote measures 8 and 3 quarter inches high, 12 inches wide, and 6 and a half inches deep. The large tote measures 12 and a half inches high, 16 inches wide, and 8 inches deep. Each tote has an adjustable, detachable carrying strap for carrying the tote over the shoulder or crossbody. An easy to install zipper at the top allows the bag to open wide for easy access to the spacious interior. The end of the zipper can be tucked into a strap on the side of the bag. On the other end of the bag, the loop created by the zipper binding makes it easy to grab the tote. It's also a perfect spot to clip on a ring of keys. Each stand-up tote features pockets inside and out to help organize everything you want to carry. The outer pockets are made of quilted fabric and run the full width of the totes, so carry keys, phones, paperwork, and more. A border adds interest to the front pocket and is the perfect spot for embellishment with brand tags, ribbon, embroidery, or decorative stitches. The inner pockets are made from mesh and bound with fold-over elastic. This gives great visibility for the contents as well as some extra stretch. The best part about By Annie is that in addition to the patterns, they sell you all of the little components that you need to complete the pattern. You'll need some fusible interfacing for the border and a bit of mesh and fold over elastic for the interior pockets. Zippers are used to close the tote and the front and back quilted pockets. We recommend that you use handbag zippers. Their extra width is especially important for the zipper that closes the bag. Find handbag zippers in lots of fun colors at our website, byannie.com. You'll also need some 1-inch polypro strapping to reinforce the carrying strap and some 1-inch hardware to make the strap adjustable and to attach it to the bag. You'll also need thread to match your fabrics and we suggest SoFine number 50, a 50 weight polyester thread from Superior Threads. Most of the stitching is done on the coordinating fabric, so you'll definitely want thread to match that. We also picked threads to match the lining and fold over elastic. Finally, if you're going to carry heavy items in the tote, we recommend slipping a plexiglass base stabilizer into the bag to stabilize the bottom. Well, so it's not like you're having to go to all these different places and you're, you know, second guessing whether or not that's the right zipper or the right mesh or the right whatever. All of it is there. Um, she has also got her own line of interfacing. Um, it's like a foam material that makes sure that it stands up super straight and you don't get a floppy, wonky bag. There's nothing worse than a bag that just falls in on itself um, after you've done, spent all that time making it. Um, I will never, ever, ever 
ever use another type of material to make a bag or even anything that I just want to be super firm. It really is a game changer. Um, so some other things that are really kind of leery about bag making and probably would have kept me from making bags for so long is all the little steps and all the little finicky bits that I'm just not comfortable with. I am maybe more comfortable because I sew clothes and there are some like smaller finicky tasks with sewing clothes, but um, you know, bag making is still a little bit foreign. And by Annie has just come out with some additional add on videos for a few of her patterns. The so Take a Stand pattern gives complete step by step instructions for the stand up totes in two sizes. You'll love the check boxes to help you keep track of where you are in the process, as well as the handy tags for labeling all your pieces. There are dozens of helpful illustrations in the pattern to guide you, and we've also filmed an add on video to help you with some of the more unique or challenging aspects of this project. This helpful video series will show you how to choose and prepare fabrics for your tote, attach the carrying strap tabs and outer pockets, attach the ends to the bag body, and install and finish the ends of the zipper that closes the tote. Those videos, there were I think maybe five videos. They don't replace the pattern instructions by any stretch of the means, but it is nice, as you guys know from watching YouTube videos, to be able to see someone do something and see how they do it before you head to your machine and try and kind of make it up yourself. Um, I found the videos to be very professional. Um, they were filmed really well. You can see exactly what she's talking about as she's talking you through it. Um, obviously, she makes it look so easy. I can tell you that sewing around here and sewing these curves, there was some cursing going on. But I had the video there that I could keep referencing and I could keep watching. How is she doing it? How is she making it kind of come together so easily? And that gave me a lot of confidence to go back because I'm like, if she can do it, I can do it. We're both human beings. Neither one of us are machines. You know, like we, we have the same resources. If she can do it, I can do it. And it, it got me through some of the more challenging parts. Um, namely, the um, sewing this little, it's like a gusset kind of in garment making terms. Um, sewing this into the bag piece and then binding all of this. So it was super helpful to see how she did that and have her walk you through, you know, the right way to do all of those things. Um, so I thought that the uh, add on videos were super helpful in finishing this. Um, and although you could obviously make the pattern without the add on videos, it's just an additional resource that's available to you, so why wouldn't you sit down and watch them? They're probably, they're all shorter than five minutes. They're not that long. So like I would um, get to a certain part and in the instructions it would say, there's an add-on video for this section. So I would go watch that before I would do anything else. And then I would have kind of like a visual aid in addition to the written instructions that kind of helped me through the bag. So I took a little bit of video as I was going to kind of show you how the bag kind of comes together. So let's cut to that now and you can see kind of, you know, the progress that I made in making the bag.
enjoyed making my bag. I have a ton of travel planned in the next three months. Um, I've got a trip to Boston. I'm going to see Taylor Swift in New Orleans. I am going to Los Angeles. Um, all of this by the end of the year and maybe some a couple of extra trips for Thanksgiving. So I plan on using this as my, um, not my carry-on, but what is like uh, your personal item that they, is that what they call it? Because um, I have, like I don't check a bag. It doesn't matter where I'm going or how long I'm staying. I will fit it all into a carry-on bag because there's nothing I hate worse than getting to where you're going and then having to wait for your luggage and then they lose it and this whole nightmare i'd like to keep my things with me at all times <laughs> bit of a control freak but i do like how this um is very roomy it has the all those little pockets on the inside so i think it's going to be really really great for travel um to have with me like my carry-on bag will be in the overhead and this will be in the seat in front of me and i'll be able to put whatever i need in there for the actual plane ride um and anything that didn't fit in my actual in my actual um carry-on bag so so yeah anyways i i think i'm going to get a lot of use out of it and i'm really excited that i have it and oh lindsay made handmade that would be really cool to travel with something um that I made. So I encourage you to go check out buyannie.com, especially if you've never heard of them before, especially if you had kind of an inkling to make um, some bags or, you know, either a tote bag or even something smaller. They make really, really great gifts. I think you'll probably see me on this channel before long um, making smaller kind of gifts from the Buy Any patterns. They're, they're really great. And as a pretty much beginner novice bag maker i am super proud with how this turned out and i couldn't have done it if the pattern and the resources available um weren't spectacular so before i go i wanted to let you know that by annie.com has decided to offer all of my viewers an exclusive coupon code the coupon code is for 15 percent off any size of By Annie's Soft and Stable, all the zippers, half yard packages of mesh, two yard packages of fold over elastic, and the take a stand pattern itself. So you can use this coupon code to save 15% off of pretty much everything you need to make a take a stand tote for yourself. So that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye.